What's going on guys? Welcome back to Embroidery Hub. Today I'm going to be embroidering one of the toughest garments and also one of the most profitable, a Carhartt jacket. I'll take you through the entire embroidery process from hooping our jacket to embroidering our design. I'll also teach you about the different embroidery needles you can use on tougher garments and how you can change out the needles on your machine. However, before we get into today's topic, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Let's start by looking at the materials I'll be using to decorate my jacket. For this project, I'll need a blank Carhartt jacket, a 13 by 16 magnetic Mighty Hoop, our standard 7511 embroidery needles, and embroidery thread. I'll also be using the MT-1501 15 needle commercial embroidery machine. This machine is perfect for tackling a variety of embroidery projects and multicolored designs. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to unhoop my magnetic Mighty Hoop. I wanna make sure that the notch will line up with the hoodie right here. And then, make sure we get this all set up. Since this is a thick jacket, just wanna make sure that I line this up right. And if you noticed, I didn't use any backing here. Reason being is if I use any sheet of backing at all, it's not gonna hoop because it's already a thick jacket. If you've seen any of my past episodes of Embroidery Hub, you'll know that I love Mighty Hoops. Reason being because they're lifesavers when you're hooping and unhooping garments all day. We sell these hoops on our online store, along with a wide assortment of other accessories to make your embroidery experience as easy as possible. If you're interested in checking them out, I'll leave a link to the embroidery accessories page in the card above in the description below. Now let's take our jacket to our machine and start embroidering. Now I'm going to embroider this jacket using my standard 7511 embroidery needles. However, you can also use thicker 9014 needles. Stay tuned until the end and I'll show you how to change them out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my control panel, click on the file icon and select my design. Then I will quickly trace my design to make sure it falls inside my hoop. You always wanna trace your design before your embroider, otherwise you risk hitting your hoop while you embroider, which can break your needles and cause serious damage to your machine. All right, that looks good. But just in case, I'm gonna do a contour trace. This will make our machine slowly trace the outline of my design and eliminate the guesswork on my design placement. All right, that's perfect. Now all that's left to do is to embroider my design.
at how cool this design came out. This will be an easy sell for sure. We gotta go big or go home. We're down to the goal. Mm -hmm. Never been a better time. Now, if you're embroidering a tougher garment like this Carhartt jacket, you may run into issues like needle breaks or your needle overheating. If this happens, you may need to swap out your standard 7511 embroidery needles for 9014 needles. To change out the needles on your machine, start by unthreading your embroidery needle. Then, loosen the fastener using a number two Allen wrench until your needle is loose enough to remove. After that, take your 9014 embroidery needle and place it in your needle groove. When putting your new needle in your machine, make sure that the scarf of your needle is facing the rear of your machine. Once the needle is in place, secure it using your Allen wrench. Then just re-thread your new needle. And that's all there is to it. If you're unsure or not whether you need to use a different needle, we have a past episode of Embroidery Hub where we break down the different needle sizes and which garments they work best on. I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the card above and the description below so you can check it out. Now that we've embroidered our jacket, let's talk about our potential profit. We bought our jacket online for right at $80. Our 7511 embroidery needles didn't cost anything because they were a part of our embroidery machine package. However, if you want to use the larger 9014 needles, you can buy a 10 pack of those for about $2.45. Once completed, we can easily sell this embroidery jacket on any online retailer for as much as $170. That's a profit of $90, which means we more than doubled our initial investment. All right, that's it for today. If you're looking for more inspiration for your next embroidery project or to get some more advice on embroidery, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and custom apparel mastery group. If you haven't done so already, follow us on Instagram and TikTok for informative and entertaining content. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like to see in a future episode of Embroidery Hub. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.